What's cooking folks, Vermilion Phoenix here, and today I'm jumping into some Hero Academy 2. This is a recently released game by Robot Entertainment. Uh, these are the guys responsible for the first Hero Academy and all of the Orcs Must Die series. So if you're familiar with that, uh, and if you played the first Hero Academy at all, you are probably pleasantly surprised to see that this is available for public release now. Um, I basically just launched the game and went through the tutorial and I have the council starter deck which I actually have no idea what's inside of it. That's the intro. These are quests. We have solo story, practice duels which is basically the tutorial. And I believe the social features may not be working in this build yet. This is a desktop build and the game was originally designed for uh, mobile devices iOS and Android so can't say for sure that all the features are built into this yet but you are able to uh, get in and start playing and grinding out those cards that you need to earn because obviously there are multiple factions and cards within those factions and there's going to be a ton to learn and get used to here and it looks like of course they have all of the usual card packs and things that you need to gain so let's go ahead and get started now so that we can take a look at this legendary sir baldrick wants to test your skills and you defeat the council's best knight uh, damn sure can so i'm not sure of everything that's available or going to be available in this game yet but i do know that you uh, have to start with a deck of cards you have a couple of hero abilities and then you have a mana pool uh, similar to most card games although in addition to you know <laughs> funny like with the uh, slay the spire and this uh, my channel might wind up turning into 100 percent card games in the near future uh, just because there's a lot of them that i like but uh you get five mana per turn i think is what it said in the tutorial but i think there may be ways to change that because the tutorial didn't even just give you five it was loading up to 10 but i didn't even read that lovely all right destroy the enemy crystal so use your mana to play the cards here and we have a rook one smash deck limit four bonus damage to non-movable targets okay that's what smash does all right so they have abilities and they let you know what they do um there was a notification that ranged heroes cannot attack more than a space away uh but i wonder how many of these can we play at once we can probably play play this guy and also get out oh no, she requires three mana oh, i only started with uh yes sir nope whoops nope. oh no action points you can only uh attack or move the first turn you play a creature or a hero sorry oh no i'm not trying to move though oh you can only attack within those two spaces i guess okay Is there anything else that I might be able to do that could be useful? Uh, Butter, butter Slayer? Uh, sword plus one. So this is a buff for the Mithril Undies. So this is increases like defense, I guess, and another Rook. All right, so no, I only seem to be regenerating three mana. I wonder if anything is different. All right, Chant Sword. Hero gains plus one attack, heal for one. Okay, so if we're gonna Butter Slayer this guy, let's do that. And then we can heal him for one. Whoops. Oh, already at full health. What? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay, so I guess the armor absorbs a bit of damage every turn well if that's the case let's go ahead and toss the mithril undies on her since she has no armor and then uh i guess the mana gain here no it says five per turn okay we'll leave it at that 
and go. All right, summoning a rook. Protect the crystal. The jackal. Okay, nope, they're going to try to take out my guy, and I'm not having that. So, go ahead and buff him. All right, we have four mana left. A wolf pup, another rook, and a quartermaster. Fanfare, draw a weapon from your deck. Fanfare is a on summon ability, it looks like. So, let us summon our quartermaster, buddy. Gladius Arc, bow plus one and pierce. So I guess that means that I get to attack all enemies in a line. I don't want to boost the bow yet though. Let's trash this guy. And actually, yeah, we will boost her. Yes. And then we're going to start moving him into position. Oh, Sir Baldrick, aura plus one. What? Oh. Oh, wow. Sir Baldrick has an aura that boosts the damage of other heroes standing next to him. I guess that armor doesn't regenerate. But this only has... Two HP left. And we won. Nark, you learn fast. Alright, I'm not sure what happens on level up as I've only leveled up once and it was from the tutorial. Uh, you got a lot of coins for defeating Sir Baldrick. Shall we go spend it? Well, seeing as the uh, card pack that I briefly looked at in the shop cost 1500 I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this is about. Basic card pack, load to your homepage, and open pack. Alright, shiny loot box effects, go! Uh, are you supposed to automatically get Sir Baldrick with your first loot pack? It looks like he's legendary, aura, plus one, he has a sword, 2-3-2, two, two. so 2 armor, 3 health, and 2 damage for 6 mana. Sharp poke, deal 1 damage to a hero, and enchant hammer, hammer hero gains 1 attack, power up. Interesting. Oh nice, one of my favorite heroes. You should add it to your deck, switch to the card collection page. Alright, let's go to the deck editor. Create your own deck. Alright. The deck is full. Remove a footman. Alright, so this is the deck manager on the right. We're gonna call Sir Baldrick in. Now finish the council campaign. Switch to solo page. Okay, so it looked like in the deck builder, uh, if we were to go back there, oops, no, this is not the right screen. Cards. Um, it actually shows you the number of each item that you have in your deck currently. So I own four and I have three in the deck. Uh, four is the max limit for most things that you can have in the deck, I guess. And I believe that, uh, somewhere in the card interface but where would you get to it oh you gotta hit back all right huh that's weird the interfaces are separate so there's the crafting system uh the crafting income or currency uh looks to be ink wait collect 35 council cards to unlock trumpeter so it looks like there's collection cards which seems interesting all right and then what do we have here uh, let's go ahead and just jump back into another game well met vermilion phoenix if you can defeat sir baldrick then you must have some talent cobalt queen i wonder do you have the skill to take on my team of archers uh hmm, hp values seem to be different on the crystals here Cobalt Queen and her archers are next. Remember, ranged heroes cannot attack adjacent heroes. Fist of the Gods. Destroy hero. Wow. Removes a hero and his corpse. So I think the corpses may actually have some sort of effect. Um, have to find out what that effect is. 
later on. And it looks like because you can store... Alright, I do get that one HP back. Absorbs damage, restored at turn start. So I must have gotten hit twice last time. Um, hmm. Can only summon here, which won't allow me to attack. Or will it? No, I'm not trying to move. Is there any way to specify that you're trying to attack, or does it automatically just decide it? Oh well, we'll move them right there. And then add one more archer. Okay. Whoops. You can make more moves. Wait. Oh, wait. That was an accident. There we go. Almost forgot to attack. Okay. So anybody that is able to return an attack seems to automatically do that, which I guess is good. All right, so can I attack three spaces away? Yes, all right, three spaces is the max range. All right, and nothing else that I can actually summon right now, but Let's go ahead and heal up our archers so that we don't actually lose them. Revive an ally to one health. Ooh. So they do have revives, I was right. The council can revive KO'd heroes. Stomp KO'd heroes by, rem oh, by moving on them to get rid of them for good. Okay. Um, I can't kill this guy outright unless I do this. And then he's going to hit me back for one, but my armor prevents it. Cool. And then we get to summon another rook. Alright, but whoa. Okay, they have a lot of mana. Protect the crystal. Oh no! All right, we do not want them to get hit. I should probably save that. Go ahead and. Move them back. Yes, sir. The Whack them. Hmm? And then. Oh, so this is a hammer character. I forgot about mm -hmm. that. Uh, rooks have hammers. I don't want to oh, destroy an enemy with five or more power. Siege barrels deal two area damage. Damage to ally gains one. Oh. Uh, this, this, nope. But we can do it this way. Nope. Okay, not bad. We'll go ahead and attack that now. Smash plus one. So rooks seem like they're they're geared towards really just literally smashing the crystals. Protect the crystal. Oh, this thing looks somewhat powerful. Oh no! They wrecked me. Okay, uh, you can go away now. <laughs> That is a funny animation, so thank you. Thank you, whoever thought that up. That is amazing. Gonna heal our buddy up here. I like these powers, they're, they're pretty cool. Oh, once you attack, you can't move anymore. Gotta remember that. Okay, Bow Maiden is gonna come out and attack somebody. The footman's really meant to just go up against Smelling salts is probably my revive. Revive an ally to one. Uh, not mine. Nope. Don't have any valid targets. I believe they stomped all of them. 
Okay, so can't really do anything else except go ahead and go ham on the crystal, but let's do that. And that's game. Another council leader bows to you. One more battle to finish this campaign and complete your first quest. Okay, King's Contest. King has waited patiently. Show him what you've learned. All right, let's do it. All right, have at the Vermilion Phoenix. You now face a king, King Bastion. Defeat me and you shall be well regarded and well rewarded. The king has waited patiently. Show him what you've learned. Yep, yep, we know he's been patient. A war sister. Uh, execute causes heroes to die instead of KO. And smash. Bonus damage to non-movable targets. She does not have... Wait, this is literally just... Wait, two smash? He has one... She is... Oh, she costs more. Okay. I'm like, why is she just, like, absolutely better? Okay. So... I'm going to summon the War Sister. And then we're going to look forward to Coming through. using. Ooh, okay. Our undies next turn. We're gonna drop our archer here. Nope, let's go for this now. Some battles may have more than one crystal for you to attack. When the crist when the first crystal on either side is destroyed, both players increase their summon area by one row. Okay. Ooh, when either crystal is destroyed. Alright, so he's summoning a rook now. Uh right, hero Oh. He's trying to do shenanigans. Not really a fan of shenanigans, sir. Okay, so she will get her armor back. I need to make sure uh, the pup or the archer is going to die. But uh, hopefully we can prevent this from going too crazy. All right, they've got another rook. Ah, uh, sorry, pup. Ooh. That's getting kind of scary. Uh, Pride Protector, Eulogy, Random Ally gains plus one armor. Alright, so this is a character that we actually want to die? Interesting. He's got... Hmm... Yeah, let's do it. Wait, smelling salts. That'll revive my pup. Let's go ahead and revive the pup. Uh, there's no point in healing him if he gets both of his attacks, so we're going to do that. And he's gonna die. Okay, and what do we want to do here? What? I think the play is to move them, keep them out of range of my crystals and heal them. Why would I heal the other person? Why is that even a thing? Like maybe there's some enemies that like take damage from healing or something. That just, whoops, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, I actually want to end the turn there. Okay. And a bow maiden. Okay, if she summons. Okay, so. Two HP. Is there any way I can boost her up? Alright, no, I can actually do this. Pride protector. Boom. 
she gets another armor now. And boom. Alright. Keep the archer alive, or at least try. Uh, with her two armor, she should be a bit better at surviving now. And, okay, there's a footman. But he can't kill anybody right now. Uh, that's changed. Do I have anybody? Oh, I can enchant him. These barrels, no pain, no gain. Damaged ally. Boom. Okay, can't forget that she should be able to attack. Two, three, four. Okay, so they count diagonal spaces as two spaces. Have to remember that. That means I should be able to attack from here. Alright, that gets rid of his armor. And then his retaliation just eats her armor, but I get that back at the end of the turn. So now it looks like we get to start cooking. Uh, though the king just seems to be summoning foot soldiers. What? And that means I actually start to get to play around that a bit. Wait, gurgle pot? Ranged, frail, frail heroes. Die when KO'd, okay. Area damage. Eulogy one area damage. All neighboring tiles, okay. Ooh, okay, that's not quite, I could wind up. Eh, it's only one damage, I can heal that. All right, crystal smashed. feels weird that he's kind of trying to help me like figure out how to kill him but uh not a bad idea either way actually let's do the rook Protect the crystal. and is there anybody that can be healed oh she can get even one more hp all right nice wait is there mm -hmm. Moving. all right gain a kingmaker card Ooh. Oh, that did not seem like a good idea. Protect the crystal. Uh, I guess it's gonna try to whack her and then also get wrecked. Okay, wait, tongue bucket. Gain one attack when an ally hero is healed. What? Well then. What? In your face. A dust devil, then hero to random position, it takes two damage. Ah. KO'd king. Nah. Ah, oh, she already attacked. Okay. And you are dead. And then we also summon someone on your body. Each player can have a ma can field a max of five heroes at a time. Both active and KO'd heroes count towards this limit, so pay attention. Nah. Gotcha. Okay. Wait, no, he can move. Yes, Make sure. Oh, wait. Deleted my own dude. Eh, not that big a deal. They can attack, but doesn't cause anything particularly ridiculous. Uh, bow, pierce, one. What? Believe that's a good idea? Uh, so we should be able to finish this now. Yes, sir. One attack there. What? Uh, I think instant death there. Two plus two smash, so four damage. Alright, another 200 gold. What's up? You bested the council leaders. Claim your quest reward to earn an ultra council pack with another legendary card. All right, quest, collect. Ultra Council Pack. Oh my, that's an Ultra Council Pack? You should open that straight away. Switch to the homepage. Uh, talk about pigeonholing your moves for the first few matches. 
Hammer Lord, summon random he Hammer Hero, give it plus two. Doesn't seem too bad. Smithy, uh, plus two, or two smash, fanfare, all allies gain. Wow. Uh, th I wonder if that includes him. If that does, that seems kind of ridiculous. Ally Hammer Hero gains one damage, extra muscles. I already had one, now I have another. Attack Pony, three movement, charge, plus two. Wonder what the charge means. Maybe it gains extra damage when it moves. Either way, it seems like a really nice card. Uh, Pret uh Petard, deal two damage to a building. Oh, I think it's time to pre you prepare for duels. I've given you a new quest, switch to the quest page, win three practice duels. All right, duels are found on the home page. practice duel. It would have been nice if they would have at least let me uh, actually change the deck up first. Attack the enemy crystals to win, summon heroes with dragon cards. Okay, practice bot. All right, I don't think I'm gonna do all three of these practice duels here. But I will probably look to uh, have them done in the next video that I do on this. Uh, we can move. Just have to be careful. Don't want to get randomly one shot by a rat. Okay, so. Quartermaster fanfare weapon card. Uh, there's Terminus. Ooh, that seems crazy. Uh, the rat is definitely... Uh, you can't actually... Oh, yeah, you have to right-click to look at the card stats. Interesting. Left-clicking gives you the... Uh... Oh, that's it. <laughs> you can interact with stage objects. Uh, Left-clicking will just give you the movement range. If you right-click, you immediately get the card stats. Okay, so the rat doesn't actually seem like bad if you're out uh, building a vermin deck. I guess that's the party or group that it would be a part of. Uh, six damage. Kind of wish I had a ranged hero, but I don't. Let's knock him dead. What? Coming through. So the, I don't think there's any way I can move out of here and like not actually have that thing be a problem. The big change in this small package. Okay, there we go. Got the butter slayer. Yes. Yes. All right, let's move him here to prevent them from just immediately being able to attack us. All right, yeah, he's gonna go after the wolf because the wolf gets some value. I lose my wolf, Protect the crystal. and it costs more. He's probably what? going to oh, damage bonus. Uh, in your face. Okay. So, a sharp poke the hero and attack again. It dies, but I have to give up her in the process. I don't know. Is that worth doing? I don't have a sword hero, so I guess so. Terminus looks just like absolutely ridiculous, but uh, it will give us max mana next turn. So let's go ahead and do that. Can't do anything else right now. All right, Confessor, Vicious. What does Vicious do? Attacks do not use all action points. Oh, wow. Uh, that is kind of powerful. Hello. So he's a sword guy. Killing him is not really even worth it. It'd yes. probably be better to conserve my mana. And get a hit on this crystal. No. To actually get him over there. And that'll protect our guy if he decides to try to attack. He dies. Bow Maiden's gonna execute him. 
Alright, so no pain, no gain, you. And this guy, I think, is pretty much just gonna run us the game. No, no point in doing that right now. Uh, let's go ahead and buff him back up, though. Uh, so that will make it much more difficult for us to do things. And that's the practice game. Actually, let's see how this pony works. Charge occurs after hero's first move on turn. Nice. So yeah, after you move it, it deals three damage. That's pretty nice. Plus 10 shards. Okay, so shards are another currency. What do they do? Dual chest. You earn some crystal shards. Fill your dual chest by damaging enemy crystals. You have 10 of the 100 crystal shards needed to complete your dual chest. Earn crystal shards in multiplayer duels. Okay. And then, of course, we got some sales. And then gems. Gems are premium currency. Okay. And then we have campaigns. Campaigns are purchased with premium currency. Okay, so I guess those will be ways for you to earn more cards and vanity items. Ultra Dark Elf packs. Okay, so there's campaigns for each pack type and then they offer you certain cards when you get there. All right, and then solo. Oh, and then there's account levels and quests to do. Interesting. I wonder if, I'm not sure if replaying these would actually do anything. But either way, oh, there's challenges too. Training. Challenge deck, armored undies. Oh, and then they give you different powers. So you really get to try things out by going through the training. I guess I'll take a look at these and, uh, oh, they have rewards attached to them too. That's nice. All right, and then you get additional trainings to go through as you uh, complete stuff. All right, all right. I guess I'll be coming back to this a little bit later. Either way, uh, that's all I'm gonna play of it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. I sincerely appreciate it. And uh, I'll have a link to where you can download Hero Academy 2 for PC uh, in the description. I'll see if I can find a, a link for uh, the iOS and Android shops too, although those probably won't work too well on phone. I'm not sure what the links would actually function like on a phone, but I'll put them there just in case anybody happens to be watching on mobile and you guys can give the game a try for yourself as well. Again, thanks as always for tuning in and until next time, as always, have a good one folks.